finally thought I would sit down and film my 2022 goals. Also react to my 2021 goals and kind of just like reflect on what I achieved and honestly just kind of have a bit of a catch up because I feel like the start of 2020 so far hasn't really been what I expected it to be. I haven't come into this year with as much motivation that I normally start the year off so I feel like it's almost fitting that I'm filming this video a month late I suppose. I really do feel like January was a little bit not a write-off but I finally feel like I'm ready to start my year now in February. I think I just had a bit of an off month in January. So I just wanted to sit down, bring out my camera and kind of just like chat about 2022 goals. I have some big goals, probably like the biggest goals I've ever set for 2022. So I'm very excited to chat through them all. I got this Gymshark t-shirt in the mail today and you all know how much I love an oversized tee. I will try and remember to link them below. If I do forget though, please remind me in the comments. I honestly don't even remember the goals I set for myself. Okay, are we ready? I think it'll be interesting to see if I've changed that much because I feel like you change so much in a year and I feel like I am in a completely different headspace and I just feel like I'm a completely different person to the person I was at the beginning of last year. Firstly, it's just weird seeing myself in the old house. At this point, when I was filming this video, I had no clue we were going to be moving back to Brisbane. I was hoping and dreaming, but we were supposed to be up there for another like two years at this point. So that's kind of crazy. Also my skin, I remember was thriving at this point. Wish I could say the same this year. Here we go. My 10 goals for 2020. That's kind of very Inception. This is me reacting to me reacting to my 2019 goals. Start off with lifestyle because I've got a few lifestyle goals. One is to, I know this might sound so, I don't even know the word annoying to hear as a as a goal Why am I but it's to be more organized i am the least organized person you probably will ever meet i know i am too um look i'm gonna say no I feel like i didn't really like be more organized but i think i learned how to deal with myself too many emails to reply to i'm terrible at replying to people that kind of thing i'm just i think i'm better at that now i mean a lot of my friends family and manager is going to be watching this being like is that true? But I think I improved and that's all we can do. I love reading so much. I feel like I got really, really into reading when lockdown started and I was reading every single- Read 20 books. Look, I want to say I maybe read about 10. I'm not doing well so far, are we? I have one new adventure every month. I was telling Sam about this. I don't even really mean to travel somewhere crazy or something. I just mean to have one day a month at least. If I can do more, that's incredible. One day a month where I go somewhere I've never been before or do some sort of adventure. If the borders are still closed, somewhere in Queensland. I actually feel like I did end up doing this goal, which I'm really happy about. And I'm so grateful to be able to do that. I'll try and put like 12 photos of every adventure I went on every month on the screen so you can see for proof but I'm pretty sure I did it next lifestyle goal is a very plain one and it's just to make my bed every single day I've been doing it so far no then have finished my nutrition diploma I started my nutrition diploma in lockdown I think I didn't do that either did I why have I not done anything which is the five chin-ups unassisted and 15 push-ups really focusing on building strength this year I have a few things to say didn't get the five unassisted chin-ups but I did say that I really just wanted to improve my strength and build muscle and I feel like I did build a lot of muscle weight trained for majority of the year which really helped with my confidence of my body does that make any sense? I think just made me feel a lot more confident in myself being stronger. So I feel like I did get stronger and build a lot of muscle, but we haven't quite hit the unassisted chin-ups or rate form push-ups. I feel Damn confident it. in my body and I definitely have been going in ways where I feel really amazing and then not so much amazing, but I just want to get to a point where I feel really, really confident in my body and comfortable and that kind of thing. I think on that one, I, mean, I did just say that I feel like I did become more confident in my body after weight training. In saying that, I think in the past year, in 2021, I was the least confident in my body I've ever been as well, which honestly makes me sad to say. I just feel like in 2021, I put a lot of pressure on myself to train and eat in a certain way, to look a certain way. Then that would all become a bit too much and then I would just fall off the bandwagon because it was just overwhelming, I suppose. My body has definitely changed a lot in the past year. I just, yeah, feel like I didn't have the greatest year confidence wise which sucks but i'm working on it i am going to be so annoying and say launch beep 
So now you'll know that that was decision made. With COVID last year, there was just a lot of delays that delayed a lot of things that I wanted to be doing. I had two launches with the brand, which was the jumpers and then the water bottles. I've got to change up my content a bit. I think halfway through last year, I got a bit over what I was posting, but I also got a bit scared to change up my content because I was scared that you guys wouldn't want to watch other things. Yeah, I just want to change up my content. I've also written quality and value in what I post. I feel like I really did change up my content last year in terms of changing it from what I was doing the year before. My content from 2020 to 2021, I feel like changed a lot for the better. I love doing the weekly vlogs so much. I feel like, I mean, for starters, they're my favorite videos to watch. So I love creating them and I feel like they are the best ways to really represent what's going on in my life and the ups and downs. And I also just love going back and watching basically my whole year documented in these like video diaries. That was definitely the change I needed in my content from the year prior. I think just a lot more real stuff. I think I did that in terms of quality content. I hope I did, but it's kind of always something that I always like am aiming to do more of. In December when I was doing Vlogmas and posting every single day, I felt like by the end of it, I wasn't loving the quality or feeling like I was putting that much value out. That's exactly why I didn't do Vlogmas last year. Also, you all don't want to see me every day. Trust me. I've got a good feeling about 2021. And Is that later, it? Did I say this about 2020? I did. Overall though, I feel like 2021 was as much as there was a lot of lows. I honestly feel like it was one of the best years of my life. I feel like I achieved so many things that I had on my bucket list and made the most incredible friendships, which I feel like just bettered my life so much. I feel like everything lined up exactly how I wanted it to last year. And as I said, yeah, there was definitely some low moments, but overall, I think the things that I achieved last year and the things that I did made it potentially one of the best years of my life. Business, friendships, relationships, moving, a lot of things that were unexpected happened that I just can't imagine not happening at this point, if that makes any sense. So overall for me, 2021 was an amazing year. I give it a solid nine out of 10, I think. Okay, I'm gonna have to go get my phone because that's where I've written down all of my goals. I feel like this is a very chill style of like a sit down video, but I equally feel like I love it because it just feels super relaxed. It almost just feels like I'm videoing my friends or something. 2022 goals. I'm gonna start with my personal lifestyle goals because I like to create categories. First one I've got is travel to London. I just feel like I have wanted to go back there ever since I went back in 2016. I really wanted to go last year, but then obviously it wasn't really possible. So I'm really hoping this year I can do a bit of a UK, Europe kind of trip. I've ridden by a house, which I know is a huge goal. Honestly, I'm not going to be really upset if I don't achieve this one because I feel like one, the housing market right now is insane in Queensland. Also kind of leads on to number two. It is so hard to get a house right now. And I've spoken to a lot of people who have been buying and it's taken them six months, 12 months, sometimes longer to find a house. So, so I feel like it's not a goal that I'm gonna be upset if I don't do, but I feel like I'm at the stage where I just wanna put the steps into motion. Put the motion, steps into motion? Put the steps into motion. I hope you know what I mean. To buying a house, finding a mortgage broker, looking in areas, going to inspections, just like putting my feet in the water. Is my analogies just so off? Why do none of them sound correct? Get my foot through the door. Is that where I'm going with this? In terms of buying a house, I would love to do Christmas slash New Year's in New York. I don't even think I need to explain that one. I've said more beach days slash holidays, even just going alone. Like I feel like I just want to spend a lot more time at the beach. I really want to prioritize my relationships in every sort of form. So my friendships, my relationships with my family, my relationship with Sam. I feel like last year I figured out that when I get stressed, I just put all of my relationships to the side and I don't prioritize them. Put so much more time and effort into them because I know ultimately they are the most important things in my life and I feel like I don't give them enough attention. Toast more dinner nights. So I love my friends and I suppose that also kind of goes off the back of prioritizing my relationships. Getting into health and fitness, I've written balance. Move my body frequently. It doesn't need to have perfect structure. Just get out and move. I said this a bit before but last year I was getting very much influence from social media and everyone being like you know you need to strength train and you need to progressive overload and you need to be doing this 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 in order to get your goals which as much as that is absolutely true I also feel like that expectation if you listen to the podcast you would know our love and hate relationship with the word expectation so I think more so this year as much as I want to be strength training and getting stronger if I just get outside and move like that is good enough for me this year I just want to be fitter have more 
fun. I want to do more activities. That's actually another one I had. Some more adventures that involve being outside and being active. I said do couch to 5k. Basically just get into running, which I can say that I've already gotten started with. I think I've already been on like four or five runs this year. I even went on a run this morning and I think I'm kind of starting to enjoy it. I hate to say it. Business. Hire a PA, which is another thing I've done. This has been a goal that I've had for, I want to say, a year now. Very excited to say that I've already done it. I'm not sure if these are boring or not, but these are just a few goals for decision made. I would love to have five products on the website by the end of the year and also some sort of warehouse to hold all the stuff because my home will not hold it anymore. Also just said work smarter, not harder, which I feel like my PA will definitely help me do. I somehow find a way to make everything a little bit harder than it needs to be with a lot of areas of my life. So I feel like just working out ways that I can make everything that I do easier. I have also said post more valuable content again this year because I just think, as I said, it's kind of always a goal that I have. This was supposed to be my personal lifestyle, but I also want to read 24 books this year. I've already read two of my third one, so I'm right on track at the moment. Look at you two. Your breast stinks, mister. We also got Harvey last year, which was unexpected, but the best thing ever. Yes, it was. Oh, stop. This is the best. Anyway, this was such a chill, relaxed video. So I hope you enjoyed. Had it on the background when you were cleaning or just doing something. I would love to hear all of your goals for 2022 if you did want to share them below. I mean, I'm always on the lookout for more goals. I feel like it would be awesome just to kind of like open a bit of conversation and all reply to each other's goals and hype each other up. But yeah, as I said, I think 2022 got off to a bit of a rough start, but I finally feel like I am just feeling myself again and as cheesy as it sounds, gotten my spark back a little bit. So I'm feeling good about this year now. Anyway, very much realize how much I've talked to this video. So I love you all and I'll see you next time. Bye.